within peace perfect peace with sorrow surging round on jesus bosom not but calm is found it is enough their struggle soon shall cease and jesus call us to hence perfect peace i want to share with you guys an element of communion that i think is particularly relevant to today and that is um, on the day that that christ uh, reappeared on the earth reappeared to Mary Magdalene and, and, and to many others, uh, the disciples had sheltered themselves uh, in, in, a, in, in a room uh, and locked the door. They, they were terrified. They were bewildered. They were fearful of their own lives. And, and in a way, that's very similar to the way we are today. I mean, we're obviously shelter in place. We're sheltered at home. We're very fearful for what's going on. Uh, this disease is certainly a horrible and, and tragic thing, but we're very bewildered. That's exactly the way the disciples were. And that evening when they were there trying to figure out what to do, just, just in total chaos, who should appear but Jesus himself? The very first thing he said is, peace be with you. What a comforting thing. A little bit later on in the evening, Christ uh, breathed the Holy Spirit into the disciples. Now, there was a different reason for that, but what I want us to think about is peace be with you and the Holy Spirit being breathed into the disciples. As Christians, we, you, we have the Holy Spirit in us, and that, that is a, a, a guarantee, a sign, a seal that we're going to be in heaven, that, that we're Christians, we're going to be in heaven with Jesus one day, that we're going to be with God one day. And as a byproduct of that, we have peace. We, have, we can call on that peace any time we need it. If Christ, had not, if, if Christ had not gone through with the sacrifice, if he had not been resurrected, if we, did, if we didn't have an Easter Sunday every day of our lives, we wouldn't have the Holy Spirit. We wouldn't have peace. And just what an amazing thing. So let, let's just draw on those thoughts, and particularly the peace aspect of it, it's going to be okay. We're, we're going to be in heaven with, 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 with Christ later on, but we can experience peace now if we'll just draw on that. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, thank you so much for Jesus. Just thank you so much for uh, his sacrifice, for his resurrection, for his reappearance, for the peace that, that we can have as a result of of the hope that we have and the, just the confidence of the guarantee that we have that we're going to be in heaven with you. We wouldn't have that confidence and guarantee had Christ not been resurrected, had he not overcome sin and death. And we're so grateful for that, Father. I hope that we truly can understand the significance of, of this. And as we partake of this bread, just help us to be so grateful for what it represents our risen Savior, and we love you, Father, and we love you, Jesus. I offer this prayer through Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray. Father, once again, thank you so much for the cup. Just thank you so much for the blood that, that Jesus shed for us. It's, as humans, none of us can imagine the pain, the agony, the sorrow, just all aspects of it that he endured for us. But also thank you so much, Father, for his resurrection and for him rejoining you in heaven and for him being part of us today. Thank you so much for your Holy Spirit. Also, Father, thank you for this church and for just our community of believers. We love you, Father. We offer this prayer through Christ. Amen.